Now let's move straight into the hearing of submissions. Um, so I'd like to invite, um, representing the Banks Peninsula Community Board, the Chair Tory Peden to the table. Tory, good morning. Thank you for joining us. You have the um, auspicious role of being the first in a long line of submitters we'll be hearing from over the next few days. Um, well, and, uh, thank you, and um, good luck for the next few days. <laughs> Do appreciate the time. Um, now, you would have seen our submission, our written submission would have been in with you guys a few days ago. Um, first of all, we want to point out that the rates relief, the board does support the lowest proposed average rate increase of 3.5 per cent. Community board, community, sorry, community funding boost, um, the board strongly supports the proposed 5 per cent increase in funding for the Strengthening Community Fund to support our community organisations recovering from the impact of COVID-19 crisis. Crochet NZ and Heritage Grants, the board is comfortable with the proposed $1.8 million reduction in the grant to Crochet NZ and Heritage, as long as this reduction is not increased. Recruitment freeze, the board is also comfortable with the proposed recruitment freeze, as long as the board continues to have the appropriate governance staff support required for, if, if, sorry, for effectively carrying out its role. Destination Management Plan for Banks Peninsula. The board is seeking operational funding, not extra funding, for the 2020-2021 um, for council staff to resource to scope the Destination Management Plan for Banks Peninsula. You will have heard from concerned local Peninsula residents who see the cruise ship industry and the Freedom Campus as both a blessing and a curse. The board wishes to develop a plan which balances all their interests and makes the Peninsula the jewel of the crown for the city a place where residents and visitors alike enjoy. We want to scope the plan this year and then be able to produce a developed brief for the long-term plan funding. Capital program. The board are mostly comfortable with the proposed minor timing adjustments to the council program, sorry, to the capital program for the peninsula, aside from the board's requests below. Um, public toilets, Oxford Street, Littleton. These toilets are in poor condition and do not serve present users and visitors' needs. We understand that the upgrade has been estimated to 350000 but no budget has been assigned. The council has lodged an application for 175000 with the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment in the late March 2020 to assist with funding through refurbishment and additional capacity for toilets at Littleton Information Centre. No decision has been received. The board requests that funding for the 2020-2021 for this period um, is we're happy to reprioritise funding for the development of other toilets on the peninsula. Here's one of concern for myself and, and the board, is the O'Kane's Bay Portable Water Supply. The O'Kane's Bay Portable Water Supply was included in the original draft annual plan 2020-2021, but has been removed from the updated version. Given the national focus on safe water supplies and that the council has camping ground O'Kane's Bay, the board sees, sees this as a priority to at least have some funding in the annual plan so that planning, tendering, consenting and engineering can be done before the long-term plan. Um, I have actually spoken with staff and they have asked that it's approximately 10% of the budget be left on so they can do that engineering report and the consenting so we can be ready to, to roll for the long-term plan. The Akaroa design, Akaroa and Littleton Design review panels um, board requests that eight thousand dollars of funding um, to sorry request that eight thousand dollars to fund four meetings of for high priority urban design projects across Littleton Negro be kept. Reserve management committees. Um, you'll see that supporting submissions you'll see that we are supporting submissions from some of our fifteen reserve management committees, subcommittees of the board, who do amazing volunteer work on the peninsula reserves and provide real value for money the council as well as being the forefront of delivering council community outcomes. And lastly I would like to just raise the Little River Playground project. That is probably not in our written submission but it has been brought to my attention recently. We're concerned that funding has been pulled from this project at the 11th hour. Staff were preparing the final design consultation to be at the Little River Pumpkin Festival in late April had the COVID-19 not um, stopped things. This, we feel, would be a waste of council time and money already spent on this project. On a further note, the Little River Wairiwa Community Trust has also secured some funding to go towards this project. However, that funding is only available in the 2020 financial year. Thank you for the time. I appreciate that this is going to be a long 
long series for you guys. So any questions? Great. Thanks, Tori. And thanks for leaving time for some questions. Are there any questions for, for Tori? Jimmy. One question regarding to your item eight, Oakens Bay, portable water supply. <clears throat> regarding the time frame, whether it's uh, in response, you know, or not, or can take the, you know, one one year, you know, for the delay. So, yeah. if we delay it one year until next financial year, that means they start the consenting and engineering process next year, whereas we want to start the delivery of the project next year. So, if we delay it. They've still got to then, then do the, the consenting and consultation and engineering next year, so it won't be delivered until the following year. So we were hoping to have the whole budget in for next year, but they still need to do that paperwork and that consenting process with ECAN prior to being shovel ready, as people call it. So you mean that's a kind of part of portion of the funding? Yeah, yeah no, not all the, all the funding. We understand yeah. why that the bulk of funding has been pushed out. and. and but this is pushing out all funding, so they can't do their consenting, their engineering process. So that's what they need to be kept in, is just a small portion, so they can continue okay. with the engineering and design. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Melanie. Um, I was just going to ask about that carry forward. So do we need, it won't just automatically roll over, it needs to be specifically carried over the um, review panels, the design panels? Um, from what we understand, from what I understand, is that the whole lot has been stopped, to, so there's no carry forward. We're just asking for a small amount to be carried forward, because at the moment I think there was about $20,000 in that budget for for the design and appearance panels, but we've been told that we can't carry anything forward, so we're just asking for a small portion of that to be carried forward so they can continue with these um, reviews throughout the year. So did the 21000 last year not all get used? Have I read that right? Yeah, it didn't get used, and so that's what we're asking. Please let us hold on to a small portion yeah. of carry forward. Number nine, is it? Thank you. Thanks, Tori. Just thinking about the water at Arcane's Bay. In the meantime, are, are people at risk at all? There, there is a great risk. There is notification everywhere saying boil water notice. But then again, does everybody know that you've got to boil water? Right. You know, above three or four minutes. I mean, out of the Hawkes Bay inquiry, yes. we that came to us as a great concern yes. that not only the residents of O'Kane's Bay don't have potable water, but also the campground that can have up to 500 people that is a council campground with, on a boil water notice. Do we actually trust that they're going to boil water for long enough? Right. So there was the concern that came to the community board and from the community that that, that is not... Sorry, what's the word? Protective um, enough. Yeah, it, it's not. It's, it's not good enough. Almost, it's, no. it's, it's third world almost. But it is. we can't expect 500 campers to be able to boil water right. for five minutes, so they can make sure all the bugs are gone. So, have other um, short-term sort of remedies been investigated? For example, filters and that sort of thing. I can't answer that. Staff no. may be able to answer that, but right. I know that they. Um, do have they are using stream water at the moment, but it is not treated, so that's the concern that they're to get the treatment plant in there. Okay, so it looks like something should be done in the meantime while things are. It's a big yeah, sort of, We'd have to ask yeah. our staff more about. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tim, um, Tori, it's probably a, a, a no answer to this question, but it seems every time we get presentations from, um, so especially Ekaroa. It seems 50-50 with regards to pro uh, the cruise ships and tourism and anti cruise ships and the tourism, and I'm just wondering, if, as a community board, with re working with that com your community, will there ever be a meeting of the ways? Because for me personally, you know, I I can see the value of the for the local businesses, and it's the same anywhere in New Zealand with regards to tourism. And a lot of the holiday makers, for instance, and I've talked to a couple who I know, and they'll bulk buy, say, at Super or Pack and Save here, go there for the weekend and just stay there, but actually not spend anything there. Because I kind of say to them it's a bit unfair, but will there ever be a meeting of the ways? That's where we want a sympathetic plan so that we can actually, um, one, understand the community needs, but also supply infrastructure that, that does frustrate not only the locals, but also the tourists. So, for example, the toilets or the roading or mm. anything like that, that does get put under strain when there is large amounts of people coming mm. to the area. Mm. So we want a sympathetic approach. We want a holistic view, hence the management plan, mm. not just a tourism strategy or 
we need to have a look at the whole thing. We need to have a yeah. look at, have we got room for extra cars? Have we got room for extra toilets, water supply, whatever? Because look at summer, we, we mm. were down to level four water restrictions in Akaroa. Mm. That doesn't help the, the people that come out to the batches or the tourists coming along mm. and flushing thousands and thousands of toilets. Yeah. So, right. yeah, it's hard. Thank, Thank you. Now, that um, brings us to the end of the 10 minutes. So that's um, all that we've got time for. But, Tori, thanks for the work you're doing. Thanks for the submission. Um, good to hear from you this morning. Thank you.